Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Final Fantasy XV walkthrough. Right, so we're still on the Archile step. The storm is gone. Uh, I'm going to be doing a bit more uh, exploring. Oh, it looks... no. For some reason that looked like a chocobo that I could ride. Which would mean that I unlocked chocobos on this map. From but that's the not the case. We met, I knew I could count on um, you. let's see. Looks like I need to... Possibly change the weather. Um, I did make some mistakes, and I mentioned that in the last video uh, regarding the weather here and uh, being able to teleport over to the the uh, west side of the map. So this, I don't know if this is me trying to fix that or not. I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, yeah, so I think this is uh, this is where I kind of make the mistake. So, uh, in the last video there, I uh, I actually uncovered the teleport um, to get to that west side, but I didn't actually interact with it and use it, uh, and so that's where I made my mistake. Um, I had I had kind of forgot that you needed to actually use it once um, for it to be there permanently. Uh, like I said. If you if you just uncover it but don't use it, when you change the weather, uh, it basically just uh, kind of can't. It makes it uh, kind of disappear, covers it back up again. I don't know. It's, I, don't, I don't know a better way to say that. But uh, the problem then is, you know, if you do, if you want to get to that west side, you still can't. Um, so my bad on that. So. Uh, I think I end up making a trip all the way out there now, which again, it won't actually be there because the weather conditions aren't right. I believe the, the correct condition was cloudy. Um, here's a regular chocobo. Um, I've, I've never actually leveled one of these, so I don't know if they're good for really anything uh, at all. Uh, so not, you know, not 100% sure on that. I think that the, the regular chocobo is considered a commando. And I think the red chocobo is actually just a better commando, so I'm not really sure uh, what the reason for using a, a yellow, a regular yellow chocobo would ever be. Uh, again, unless I'm missing something, which is uh, possible. But uh, here, yeah, you can tell. So you can see there, there's no uh, teleport uh, yellow chocobo or yellow uh, cactar statue there. So I need to go back and uh, change the change the weather back to like I think it's cloudy. Just head back and do that. Oh, another chocobo. That looks like a red one. Yeah. So I'm not quite this. Uh, I'm not actually sure if I'll use a red chocobo for the commando role. I don't. I don't really know that that's gonna be uh, for my setup. Uh, if I was gonna go with a, a, a game where, like, Noel is a magic user, then that would maybe make sense. But, um... But yeah, I don't know. Uh, like a, or I'm not doing uh, this one. I'm certainly not building Noel uh, magic. Uh, it's kind of interesting, actually. I have done that before uh, in other games, and Noel can, get, Noel can get a really, really high amount of magic if you build that way. Uh, the problem that I that I see is uh, his Ravager role is just not very good. Um, he's missing a lot of a lot of the like passives. I think he might have like Clear Siphon, and that's that might be it. Uh, as well as his selection of spells is just not as good. So uh, it's, you know, again, you can do that. It's one of those. It's, this is one of the games you want to do. It's fine, but. I don't think that uh, he didn't actually uh, stand out as a really good, good Ravager. There I got lucky and did get the crystal. Um, but, like I, say, uh, like I was saying though, he, he does have a really, really... He has a potentially high magic stat. Uh, one of his weapons gives him like... I think it's plus 35% to his magic stat. Uh, and then, you know, if you want to combine that with some of the... the um, 
magic accessories, uh, he can get, again, a really, really, possibly even higher than uh, Sarah. So, um, I guess, keep in mind, if, uh, if you ever want to try that, go right ahead. But, uh, all right, so let's... A, sheep a bit of a shortcut so back. They're downright adorable. You did it. The storm is, is gone. Uh, I don't know how to thank you. Cloudy. Um, if you notice in the background there, that's the the long gui. Um, I think that's how you say that. Uh, and I won't be taking that on for a, a quite a, a long time. Uh, for maybe obvious reasons, especially if you've played the first one. Um, they're they have a lot of health. And uh, it's gonna take it's gonna take a, a lot more CP farming, um, as well as a, probably just you know a better a better monster setup in order to uh, to be able to take that down. So we'll save that uh, for later. From the moment we met, but, all right, looks like we've got the weather changed back to cloudy, so we'll go and cover that teleport cactar one more time. Uh, so again. Um, there's three different cactar stones in, in the uh, step here. You've got the red ones, and uh, those ones just teleport you back to the, the nomad camp, which they're, you know, oftentimes pretty useful. Uh, there's the green ones. There's three green ones. Uh, and all of those have a, gigant, a gigantar. That's the, uh, the giant cactar. And, um... Once you activate those, you'll obviously get into a fight with the with the giant cactar, and um, and then you'll you'll actually get a uh, fragment uh, for for doing that, for getting all of them. And then uh, and then the last um, cactar stone here is the the yellow one, and that's the one that teleports you over to the uh, west side of the area. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so here we are. Oh, we actually got a fragment for that, too. I didn't, uh, I didn't realize that. I didn't remember that. But that's cool. We ended up on the west side. Um, so the, the west side, like I was saying uh, in the last video there, is actually my favorite place probably in the entire game to, to farm. Uh, number one, I want to get the blue chocobo, which, uh, those spawn over here. Um, I actually need to change the weapon, though, in order to get them to spawn. I don't think that they will spawn in cloudy weather. Um, I know for sure they're here in, uh, in the sunny area, as well as the rain condition. And I actually, like, uh, like I mentioned before, I prefer to farm in the rainy, uh, rain, rainy Asian, sorry. Um, mostly, I just feel like, uh, and, and I've never, I've never done any actual kind of number crunching, I guess. But it seems to me the, the rate of monsters that I encounter are um, more favorable to what I want to farm uh, when it's raining. Um, that being, micro chews uh, tend like there's a big pack of those that'll spawn, uh, and those will actually. Farm the best or the top tier organic monster material in the game, uh, which is the potent, um, I think it's the potent crystal. Uh, I was um, so those are uh, obviously we'll, we'll be using those uh, as well as uh, I'm trying to think of what else. But obviously the blue chocobo spawns over here, um, and then there's a couple of the like. It's not the buckaboos. It's probably. It's the moblins or the goblins, something like that. It's one of those, uh, like, kind of like goblin type enemies. And then, uh, I think, uh, if I'm remembering correctly, the. Um. Boy, I'm drawing it there now. Like the hedge frog, I think it is. Uh, but, anyways, like I said, uh, I, I just prefer. I prefer the rainy. It seems like the monsters that I want to run into more often appear uh, during the rain, as opposed to uh, when it's sunny. So, so that is why I go that route. Uh, 
I think these ones might spawn quite a bit too in the, uh, in the rain. This is the Dan Dan Tanner. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember what these guys drop. I want to say it's uh, it's a potential. <clears throat> I don't know why, or I'm not remembering which tier. But uh, the other thing that I, I tend to farm a lot of is uh, the mana. I think it's mana. Oh, I don't want to say orbs because now I don't remember. Uh, first the worst memory. Um, <clears throat> I barely ever, uh, in, in these games that I've, or uh, the, the few times that I've played through this game, I barely ever use the either mana or um, power uh, materials. I usually stick to the potent materials just because I, I like the balance, well, not necessarily balance, but I like the, the bonuses that you get um, from those uh, as opposed to the other Strictly mana or power um, materials. I just feel like it kind of rounds out, um, you know, your monster stats a little more, and it gives you a lot more HP, which is, you know, kind of nice. You don't have to do as often, you know, if you've got a bigger pool of HP, especially in um, in like a trash fight. I, guess, you know, like, I generally consider any, anything that's not like a boss fight to you know, be a trash fight. So. It's kind of nice to be able to, to not have to heal through those. So, for, you know, swap into a paradigm that's got a healer in it. Um, it looks like we've got a hidden treasure sphere here. Um, it's probably going to be materials, is my guess. Oh, the shell greens. So, meh. Well, you know, those are buyable from Chocolina now, so I'm kind of not real impressed with getting those in, in uh, treasure spheres. Um, there is a... Ooh, I don't I feel like this is a, not a fight that's going to go well. Um, these, uh, no, what's this thing called? Navadons. Alright, so the Navadons are pretty, pretty rough right now. Um, it helps if you get them alone. Uh, oftentimes they'll be with a Mew Mao. And, uh, the problem with that is, uh, the Mew Mao is, is a pretty decent uh, medic, so the... Mew Mao is just gonna heal these guys constantly while you're trying to, you know, to take these down. Um, and the other problem is it's just to stagger. Now, granted, I mean, it looked pretty easy, but that's because I got the jump on this, and we got a 20% um, you know, jump on it for free, so. Um, this is going a, it's going a little bit better than I expected, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm able to take this thing down in one. So if I don't, that's going to be a real problem. Yeah, no, it's not working out. This is going to happen in one stack. It's just got too much health left. But I'm able to really take the damage now. Wow, two scourges in there. That's Stuff to do. Huh. Normally it takes something cheesy like um you usually scourge if you're using Sarah. You time out like an ultimate arrow correctly. Okay. Like uh, for whatever reason to get two of them out there. Um uh, but anyways, alright, so yeah, now I Somebody might be casting a spell that's actually, that's probably, uh, like, wizard. Because uh, I, I believe these things, uh, absorb, uh, wizard in trouble. And, and, well, it should be, like, a good deal with the strike, too, so... I'm guessing that was what was going on there. I did actually try to use the, um, the paradigm where you use three ravagers to try to, you know, get this thing staggered fast, but... Um, my Noel, Noel right now only is a, a rank one damage, so he literally only has the Blizzard spell. So if you try to go that route, you're, you know, you're healing it. Granted, you're able to, to bring up the chain gauge and it's arguable whether or not that's actually worth it. Uh, 
God, it's probably smart if you just do it like this. Just to use your you know, commando and your two ravagers to like, just try to stagger him and go with that route. Uh, the other problem with going going the uh, try disaster is um, you, your stagger uh, won't last as long. Oh, did I leave as a crystal? That was a horrible battle. Yeah, I did. Wow, that's that's pretty lucky. Um, I don't remember what, uh, I think, I'm, I'm gonna guess that Navadon is a sentinel, but I could be wrong on that. Um, I'm prob probably wrong on that. But, uh, oh, there's our blue chocobo. So, um, wow, this is, um, I think this is cloudy, so, looks like the blue chocobo... Boy, it, it looks like it spawns in all weather conditions over here, except Stormy. I think Stormy only like the Sea of Monsters spawn, if I'm remembering correctly. But, uh, that's interesting. You know, that's uh, something, something that I didn't know. Then. Again, if he's spawning right now in, in the cloudy condition, it's... Uh, Uh, the initial fight here, or fights with the blue chocobos, can be kind of brutal. Uh, they, use, they use a lot of the, the multi-target spells, so when your characters are clustered up together, like now, you notice um, everybody's taking a lot of damage. And uh, it's actually really hard for this fight to keep up. Uh, I've actually found that um, using the not diversity but, um, Paradigm, it's the Commando Ravager Sentinel. It's a really good way to take these on. And um, you can kind of start out, you start out with the battle uh, with the um, Pallets, uh, Relentless Assault, and then it'll, it'll kind of, what does it do right away? It doesn't really do much right away, and then it'll actually use Sonic. Or sorry, it'll use um, Entrench. And Entrench, you can just pound on it. And then afterwards, it'll use uh, it Sonic, Sonic Assault or something like that, where it debuffs all your characters. Uh, and at that point is a good time to, to uh, go into de it's a Delta Attack. Um, and then, uh, basically, it'll, it'll attack for like three rounds in a row, and then you can do like melee. Um, a full round of like melee attacks, and then it'll start breaking into its spells for its second and third round of attack. Uh, and then once its second and third round of attack is done, it'll use um, oh I forget the, the name of the you know, it's where it uh, buffs itself up. Uh, and then it'll use the seismic assault again, or whatever that was, the debuff, and then it'll it'll attack again. So um, you know, kind of once you get the feel for how the the battle goes, you can. You can kind of change what paradigm you're in, you know, depending on what it's about to do. Um, unfortunately, there I didn't get the crystal right away, but um, you know, so I'll have to, uh, I'll have to. And I think it took me a little while to get that blue chocobo crystal. Um, there's the hidden wild artifact there, down off the uh, the edge of the cliff. So um, you know, just use the moth throw to get that. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, the, uh, the blue chocobo, it took me a little while to get, but once I got it, uh, you know, I was kind of done with my uh, Ravager for a good majority of the game, I'd say, because I was using that for short of if I decide to ever use the, uh, the DLC, or if I, if I do much of the DLC, which I probably will, to be fair. Um, but that's going to be a long time before I get there. So like I said, the, uh, the blue chocobo will be my Ravager for, you know, probably 90% of my, uh, of my game. So, uh, just as soon as I get that, then I'll have to work on farming up the crystals that I'll need for it. Um, I think for the, the first blue chocobo that I level, I'll just use strictly um, potent. I, the, I don't know if that's really the best way uh, to level it or not, but... Um, it's, you know, I don't know, it depends on what you really want. I, I actually really like the uh, added HP that, that you 
Uh, this is the micro tube battle. Uh, these guys are uh, the ones that drop the, the potent crystals. Uh, as well as they've got a, a rare drop called like the Sun Cup or something like that. I don't remember what uh, specifically that's for. Um, maybe, uh, yeah, I don't even want to make that. But, um, Items and there's a ton of them in the game. So, um, anyways, uh, these guys are great for those. Uh, for the those are the, uh, the, the tier five monster uh, material. Um, I should say tier five organic monster material. So, uh, very useful. I'll end up using a bunch of those on my uh, my blue chocobo if I if and when I get it. I shouldn't say if and when. It's it's just when because I'm going to get it. Uh, here's another hidden cactar stone. So that is a, a teleport back to the nomad camp. Um, you don't have to use it. You can you can actually just manually run back if you want to um, because uh, you know while you can't just run over to the west side, you can run back. So, uh, anyways, I did take that teleport there and got the, uh, the fragment for it. Now I'm gonna change the weather to, uh, rainy, I think. Actually, I might have gone with sunny first, now that I think about it. Um, and I did, uh, I did actually do a bit of, uh, farming on the west side there. Uh, during the sunny, I think during, yeah, that's what I did at first. I went with sunny. Um, just because I wanted to, uh to kind of see what it was like, and um, I, I, like, again, I, I do actually like the, the rainy condition a little bit better for, you did it. for, uh, the storm is gone. for farming, but I don't uh, know how to thank I'll you do too. that at a, at a later time. Now, um, unfortunately, because I don't have the chocobos unlocked on the map yet, I actually do have to run a, run back down to the teleporter. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, but um, it is nice when you get the chocobo and you can just... Uh, you can actually take the chocobo right from the nomad camp and then hop on that and then, uh, and then just go over to the west side and once you get to kind of like the trench, you can just uh, hover or glide over trench because you know, Good work, everyone. limited flight, I guess you could say. So, it can cut down on some of the annoying uh, battles, uh, random battles that you don't want to fight on the way down to the teleporter. But, uh, at the end of the day, it's not that big. Battles like that with the Scutari, they, they don't move very fast, so those ones are really easy to avoid. Uh, there's some out in the, the regular, the, the like the main plains area there with the, uh, oh, and I'm not going to remember the name, uh, they look kind of, you know, like weird looking wolf things, and those are really fast, so it's, hard. it's actually really hard to get away from those. Uh, you know, so, you know, most of the time you end up doing a random battle, battle or two on the way down. But uh, anyways, all right, so we're back down here. I'm going to kind of try to finish up. Okay, we've got a... I think this is a green cactar. I'm actually not going to activate that yet. Yeah, so that's going to be a, a gigantar once I uh, activate that. So we'll, uh, we'll do that a little bit later. And there is a... Yeah, there it is. There's a hidden, hidden treasure sphere right there. Oh wow! I walked right by it and didn't uh, didn't notice it right away. That's funny. It actually is funny in, uh, how often that's happened. Um, just kind of like looking at these, or looking re or looking at my footage again. Oops, uh, I think this is the hedge bugs. Um, these things are a decent source of, um, I can't remember which material, hopefully this will drop some in the battle. 
I vaguely remember these things being decent core. Something else. <laughs> Ow, it's the worst. Um, it's probably leveling up. I don't know what these are. If they're a, if they're a Ravager, I think they're Ravagers. Um, who's the one I'm gonna take a stab? Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna take a stab and say that they're Ravagers. And if that's the case. Um, it's probably, they're, they're good to feed to commandos, because, um, I don't think I've actually brought this up in any of my other videos yet, but, uh, <clears throat> every, every, uh, roll, every monster roll has, like, a hidden ability, and basically the way it works is if you're, if you, if you want to unlock the hidden ability for your monster that's a commando, you feed it Ravager monsters, you have to give them <clears throat> 99 levels of, of that monster to unlock, you know, what, whatever hidden ability. <clears throat> I don't remember what the one for uh, actually any of them are off the top of my head, but uh, they work. At, it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like they work in pairs. So what I mean by that is the uh, if you want to get the commando ability, you use 99 levels worth of Ravager monsters. If you want to unlock your <laughs> Ravager hidden ability, you have to use 99 level uh, or levels of commando monsters. Uh, and then it works the same way with the, the Medic and Sentinel, those are a pair, and then Synergist and Saboteur is the other pair, so um, I guess keep that in mind. I don't know how helpful that information is, but uh, uh, and then on top of that, I don't remember which, uh, you know, which ability is the hidden ability for each monster, but um, I think Typically, again, if, and especially if it's going to be your last monster, you're definitely going to want to uh, um, unlock that hidden ability. So, that is my two cents on that. It looks like I've got this area over here fairly uncovered. Um, <clears throat> so, just in the little bit of time that I've spent, I shouldn't even say a little bit, I've spent a lot of time farming in this area. Uh, from what I've noticed, uh, kind of the best areas to try to get a hold of a, uh, a blue chocobo seem to be just running around in the, kind of like in the water areas. Um, but don't go too close to the west side, because over on the west side you're going to run into a lot of the uh, Navadons. And I actually really try to avoid those. They're, they just always end up being a really long battle, especially if they're with uh, the healer, the new mile or whatever those things are called. So uh, again, I would say try to avoid that, that uh, you know, the far west side of this area. Uh, and again, stick to kind of the watery uh, areas that seem to uh, appear more there. That, although, I, I don't know how much, or how accurate that is. Um, they, you know, you know, maybe the blue took this as a, a straight percentage to spawn in, you know, whatever area over here. Uh, but, that being said, the Navadon did uh, seem to only appear in the far, far west uh, areas. So, you know, if you're kind of hanging out around where the trench is at, I don't think I've ever ran, run into a Navadon there. So, I guess just keep that in mind. But, uh, alright, so it looks like it, yeah, just teleported back. I'm not sure what, uh, what my plan blankets. is next here, but uh, I feel like I feel like I probably was to just farm for a blue chocobo. But, uh, I do remember that being my kind of number one goal for coming here, so so that's uh, potentially what I did. But yeah, it looks like I'm gonna change the weather to. Hopefully, I go with rainy. That's my. This isn't rainy, this just looks like... Actually, I don't know what this is. I don't know if this was stormy or just cloudy. It looks a little too dark to be just cloudy, but... Yeah, okay, so this is stormy. Um, so it looks like, uh... What was I gonna try to do here? I'm just trying to think of why I would have changed the weather to stormy. Um, so, in the stormy weather condition, the only thing that, uh, or the only monsters that'll pop up are the Sia. Uh, you can't actually, uh, recruit any of the Sia monsters to be recruited. And, um, and who would want them? They're gross. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I'm really... Oh, okay, so I think I must be trying to uncover another one of the uh, triple statues on the, the west side of the area. Um, not Again, not really sure why I went with this route, because I knew I wasn't going to activate it, so... Um, and I think this last one... Maybe I'm... Actually, I might be thinking of the wrong one. We'll see here. This actually might be another red one, so... Um, this could potentially be... Yeah, there it is. You can kind of see the, the outline. Or, you know, the fact that it's out of phase. Yeah, so let's... let's this. this actually might be a red one, though, that I think we're... Yeah, it is, okay. So cool, yeah, that, that did make sense, though. I thought, uh... At first I thought that was silly, and I thought it was going to be a green one, because I knew if it was a green one, I, was, I wasn't going to interact with it anyway. But yeah, there you have it. So there's the violet crystal. So fluffy. They're downright adorable. <laughs> and... I've heard about what you've done. You're one of us now. In fact, you may be the bravest of us all. Here, take this chocobo. You uh, okay. Okay. Alright, so it looks like uh, interacting with all of the red uh, cactar statues is what unlocked the, the chocobos. That's my that's my take here, anyway. Um, so yeah, so now I'm just able to uh, to ride around. This was... Oh, again, yeah, here, I, I just realized that I didn't change the weather again, so... Uh, and I don't really ever farm during the... Um, stormy condition. Um, well, I should say I ra rarely do. So the, the, the Seeth monsters actually do drop certain items, and um, I will uh, eventually uh, probably do or farm up those. Um, so those specific items are actually role-specific items. Uh, there's a com I think, and I, I'm not going to remember the, the exact names of them, but one of them increases uh, the effectiveness of uh, the sentinel job, there's one for the medic job, actually there's one for every single job, so I guess just keep that in mind. So eventually I will do a little bit of farming during the stormy condition and it's specifically for those items, but um, I'm not really sure when that's going to be or when I'll even be capable of doing that because I don't remember how difficult the fights are, so um, I'll probably wait until later um, to get those, but uh, I am going to do a bit of farming here. Uh, looks like I did change the weather back to sunny, which is kind of not the way I really wanted to do it, but um, I think eventually here I did change it back to, to stormy, and then I kind of went to town, and uh, that was when I got my blue chocobo. So um, soon here, extremely soon, I'll be, I'll be running around with a blue chocobo. Um, but I think that's all I got time for. Yeah, so as always, hope the guide was helpful and hope you join me for more videos. Thanks for watching.